Now on this week's programme we're looking for a new car for our viewer Simon Holmes who's 25, he's in the media industry and he currently drives a Ford Puma. He's already driven the Nissan 200SX but what else have we got for him on this week's programme? Well we've also got a Ford Cougar and here's Richard Hammond with a lowdown on the Cougar. Oh dear. Remember when you were a kid and you used to build an oil rig out of cereal packets and loo roll tubes? Well, mine looked exactly like this, only it was built slightly better and probably looks slightly better even now. But you were worried about your speaker space. <laughs> Look at this boot in a coupe. You'd get stadium kit in there. But hold on, if we're going to start judging a coupe according to boot space and rear seat accommodation, there's something wrong buying a state car. And here's a worrying point, it's got a tow ball on a coupe. Isn't that a bit like buying a scooter with bull bars or trying to fit a roof rack to a soft top? The thing about the Cougar to me is, looking at it, do you not get the impression that somebody somewhere in Ford was trying just a little bit too hard to please their boss when they designed it? I mean, look, yeah, nice one, Dave. Now make me one that looks pretty. This ridiculous idiot grin. Does anybody really want a sports car that when you open the garage door is there? <laughs> I go fast, me. Nasty. And it seems like the world would agree because last year Ford sold one. And if that was you, <laughs> it's so bad they've killed it off completely. And frankly, I agree with them. I'm sorry, Cougar, you were never any good. Good riddance. Well, Simon, I guess you already like Ford cars because you've got the Puma at the moment. I mean, how different do you think this Cougar is? Just, you know, driving it around the corner, you can feel the mass moving from side to side. And the long wheelbase, of course, means it isn't as nimble, but it's, you know, it still feels good on the road. It's got a nice 2.5 V6 engine, it's 170 brake horsepower, so I mean, it's a pretty quick car, isn't it? Now, this car's only done 14,000 miles. Um, it is the 2.5 V6, so it's the top of the range, and there's only two cars in the Cougar range anyway, the 2.0-litre and this 2.5. I'd certainly won't go for a 2.0-litre, that's no. for sure, because it's just mm. too underpowered. But, I mean, when you think that this car was somewhere around 22 grand when it was new, yeah. I'm not so sure I'd want to spend that sort of money on this with you. Well, with this sort of car, you do suffer depreciation, and somebody's lost, what, Big 11 time. grand? Big time. Uh, in 14,000 miles of motoring, which is just obscene. Um, you know, most people wouldn't spend that much on the car in the Absolutely, first place, yeah. and they might just lose it. So somebody, like myself, is in a good position to buy a new car with leather, it's got electric it's got seats, it, it? Yeah, air con, it. power steering, traction control, you know, it's a nice looking car. So you can really, well, show off a bit really. For 11 this, grand. Yeah, for 11 grand. good value for money. Right, Simon, so, uh, so there we go. Ford's now demised Cougar Coupe. What do you reckon to that? Not terribly sad they've stopped making it, although it is a, a good car. It's reasonable, isn't it? Yeah, nice to drive. Great 2.5 engine. Lovely fruity right, engine. Yeah, nice and raspy. Uh, even looks good, but the Nissan has got it pretty much beaten on everything, really. I think you're edging towards that 200SX, aren't you? Just a, just a tad, yes. All right, well, you get a chance to drive the MG in part two of the programme, and that's all coming up very soon here on Used Car Heaven.